somewhere in northern India, a first-of-its-kind massive infrastructure project is underway. Code name Lot 103, a 105 kilometer long railway line is being laid by Tata Projects Limited. Lot 103 is a part of larger railway route of 1760 kilometers long EDFC Eastern Dedicated Freight Corridor which will connect Ludhiana in Punjab with Kolkata in West Bengal. A game-changing mission is now on a fast track. For a fast-growing economy, Efficient and timely end-to-end -end delivery of commercial goods is very critical. In India, freight trains usually ply on the same tracks as the passenger trains. To reduce the long travel time, Indian Railways decided to upgrade efficiency. DFC Dedicated Freight Corridor Project was conceptualized with an ambitious idea of providing seamless traffic for freight trains connecting four parts of the country. Construction of DFCC, our travel time will be reduced, Indian railways will be decongested and uh, freight trains will be moving on a dedicated line, will reduce the travel time, thereby we will be in a position to transport the perishable goods from right from Calcutta to Delhi in 24 hours of time. The target to increase maximum speed of freight trains from 70 to 100 kilometers per hour to increase gross capacity of trains from 5,500 to 13,000 metric tons, timely and efficient delivery of goods between ports and inland destinations. Lot 103 of EDFC is being executed by Tata Projects Limited in a joint venture with Aldisa of Spain under the technical supervision of Sai Tipsa. It was one of its kind track laying work in India and Tata Projects had a formidable challenge of building a team for Lot 103. A team of 65 highly skilled engineers and over 200 workers was given high-end training and brought on field. Lot 103 starts at Chamrola with two detours to bypass the populous cities of Hathras and Aligarh and ends at Kurja covering a length of 105 kilometers. 67 kilometers route runs parallel to Indian railways while 38 kilometers is detoured. We are here in the Lot 103 from Kurja to Chamrola. That is 105 kilometers. In this section, we have to lay the 232 kilometer of track. That includes the yards. And we have three number of yards. One is Kurja, another is uh, Hathras and Daud Khan. The project kick-started with a detailed planning of the track laying route. The civil work began with survey, alignment work and clearing of land where tracks were to be laid. Embankments form the strong foundation for the tracks for which soil is obtained from excavated earth from the adjoining fields in the form of land blocks known as burrows while the landowners get monetary compensation removal of soil layers also gives them fresh cultivable land Embankment is done with varied quality of soil layers. Blanket is then laid with designed mix of aggregate. The ready mix soil is prepared at pug mills. With the help of grader and roller and compactor, water tanker, we are compacting, achieving FDD. Now our QAQC team are there. With the help of QAQC team, we are checking layer by layer. This is a pug mill near Daud Khan Yard. The soil and sand is submixed to obtain the desired quality of subgrade. 
the soil mix is tested in labs. Prescribed field density tests are carried out to ensure the optimum density of embankments. For a seamless passage of people, road transportation and animals, and to ensure safety of track area, a total of 144 structures are built along the route of Lot 103. Bridges and formations are designed to take 32 ton axle weight. One of the major challenges faced by Tata projects was the launch of an open web girder at Hathras Bypass near Mendu Station. The total weight of this open web girder is over 600 metric tons, almost the size of three airplanes. This giant structure was assembled using about 40,000 bolts. Since this open web girder was to be launched over three running lines of Mathura Kasganj route of Northeastern Railway, the entire operation had to be accomplished within the two and a half hours of traffic block. A team of experienced engineers, supervisors and operators worked with clockwork precision and coordination to successfully pull off one of the major challenging tasks under the EDFC project. It took around 12 months of a dedicated effort, sincere planning in designing, fabricating, bringing the elements to the site arranging them all together and then launching across a railway track which generally is a very difficult task to do. This is a mechanized construction work which is the track is being laid by NTC. On an average we do around one and a half kilometers of track daily. So as compared to manual, this has increased the scale of, you can say three folds, there is a increase in uh, laying. This particular lot, Lot 103, we require the 1 million ton of ballast. That's a huge, huge quantity of ballast. And here in this location nearby, the nearest source of the ballast is 250 km far from these locations. And another source is 350 km. That's a big challenge to the project, to the project team. We are bringing this metal by rail and roads. In the Lot 103 project, the track laying work is being carried out by fully mechanized track laying machine, known as NTC, that is, new track construction machine, which can lay sleepers at the speed of 10 per minute. The 260 meter long rails are first pulled out with pulling arms attached on the reception wagon, and then the rails pass through various clamps and reach the front part of NTC known as truss B. The rails are then connected to the dozer. The dozer pulls the rails, which pass over the rollers, placed on the compacted ballast bed. Now the process of sleeper laying begins. Sleeper gantry feeds sleepers from material wagon to conveyors of NTC.
the capacity is 1.5 track kilometers a day. For the lot 103, a total of 400,000 sleepers are being laid. Rails are connected to each other with flash butt welding. In flash butt welding machine, uh, we are making weld joints with the help of parent material only and uh, we are not any additional material and uh, this helps us make a sound joint. Once the skeleton track is done by NTC, we usually put our special team for fitting and fastening. Our special team make a proper gap between the two sleepers of 0.6 meters. After fitting and fastening, top ballasting is done by loaded ballast hoppers. The capacity is two kilometers a day. Ballasted track is regulated with BRM, ballast regulating machine. BRM distributes the ballast uniformly around and the track on the shoulder and crib of the sleepers. Tamping machines have the critical role of bringing the tracks to design geometry. Trimble trolleys are armed with dedicated software that records data ensuring accuracy of track laying work. Safety of people working in an area spread over 105 kilometers is a daunting task. Regular training sessions, on-site demonstrations and strict supervision ensure a safe working environment. जैसे कि ये लीनियर प्रोजेक्ट है और इसमें बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस हैं जैसे कि इंडियन रेलवे के किनारे काम करना इंडियन रेलवे के ऊपर में ओएची लाइन के किनारे पे मशीनों का मूवमेंट और लोकल विलेजर्स का मूवमेंट है इन सब खतरों को दूर करके और इन खतरों के साथ में हमारी टीम ने मिलके काम किया है आज तक पूरे प्रोजेक्ट में अभी भी कोई भी एक्सीडेंट कोई ऐसा हार्म नहीं हुआ है जिससे कि सोसाइटी को और हमारे वर्कर्स को कुछ खतरा हुआ We have achieved around 9 million safe man hours in safety and uh, with zero harm we have tried to fulfill what our objective is by doing a safe work. From shifting of structures and building new residential colonies in project affected areas to planting thousands of trees along the track route, Tata Projects has kept sustainability and environment protection in the forefront. Every DFC train will take off hundreds of trucks from the roads, thereby substantially reducing the carbon footprints. With a professional team of highly skilled engineers and personnel, a fleet of state-of-the-art machines, backed by Tata Ethics, a large railway infrastructure project is being completed successfully. For Tata Projects Limited, it has been a journey of accomplishment and pride.